about just letting all the LGBT people come to one area together. And it's also about telling the world there are us here, you know. We're not just hiding in our rooms crying because we can't find anyone else. There are us. And it's very colourful as well, I like that. Very, very colourful. And bright and flamboyant. And you can wear anything. It's a festival to um, celebrate gay pride and acceptance. And what does it mean for you? Um, it means supporting everyone who's um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, cisgender, no matter what their age or ethnicity, and supporting um, heterosexuality as well because we accept that we're not trying to be better than um, anything. It means like diversity and uh, everybody coming together. Yeah. Partying, get to know new people. <laughs> yes, get to know people. It's nice just to go somewhere yeah. where everyone gets on. Yes. Yeah. No fights, no anything like you know. It's just nice to get nice and relaxed. And yeah. And nice where, to get new friends like. Where have you all come from? Have have day. Day. Have it was. It was actually originally Pancake Day. Mardi Gras means Fat Tuesday in French, which is awesome because Fat Tuesday. To me, a nice big event. Um, big music, which I hate. Classical. But it's also a nice place for LGBT folk to get out and be themselves. It, like, it's good because it gives like, gay and lesbian people the right to like, go out and have a good time. Yeah, supporting them, yeah, showing us support that. Them. Them. Like, there's so many people to show their support here, which is really good. <laughs> <laughs> We've should have asked these before, so we can have nothing to do. You know what? What's Mardi Gras? It's like this, this whole thing. This thing. Activities. We've had like we've been making bracelets. That, you know, they, they look good. Um, yeah, and, and there's a circus workshop going on. It's really, really nice. The people there are really friendly. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. The use zone. A thing is really, really good because they've got like the little kiddies part as well. And um, it's good because not many people know about Loud and Proud and. I guess if more people knew about it, even though there is Mardi Gras, it kind of brings younger people together because it can be really lonely being young and LGBT, not knowing anyone else. It can be, like you can feel alienated and just sometimes you feel like you're wrong. But I think this is just brilliant. The answer, yeah. I think it's yeah. good because it's accepting different people and yeah. bringing um, all ages. It's an, also I've got my face painted for being big <laughs> bracelets. It's been wicked, yeah. I think it's very important for the youth on the beat here because a lot of the new LGBT folk which are in you know, their teenage years feel insecure and need a place to go. With the kind of youth service being here, it gives them an opportunity to be themselves and get support they need. Ideally, the kind of youth someone will to your school as well. It's good because it shows that they don't need to be afraid of who they are. What do you think it's like for LGBT people growing up in Wales today? Um, I think it's improving, but there's always going to be issues, especially when there's like um, not all religions, but like religious preachers who just like don't practice what they preach, like they don't act good, but they're just trying to get everyone against gays, and it's just silly. And, but um, and it's just people who are just like. Pressured by others to believe that gays are wrong, but you all just got to have an open mind, really. I think it's probably easier than it used to be because of all the media now and how it's becoming positive rather than it negative. Because, um, like, now we've got a lot of anti homophobic bullying things. My school is starting to put certificates up, and they want uh, the whole council, they want a separate council all about it, and they're helping people come out. And then there's this, and I think it's just easier now because it's also easier to come out because people are coming out younger and younger the people are coming out 13 12 now and it used to be a lot older i mean people are saying to me now i came out at 16 and they're like how long how did you wait that long and then in the past they used to be coming out at like 25 and stuff so it's hard enough waiting until you're 16 never mind 25 so yeah it's brilliant now. well I, I feel quite proud you know it's it's nice um 
people who are kind of just walking down the street, but that, I think that you get that everywhere, you know? Um, it's it's not particularly special, it's just it, it's just normal, really. It's, it's nice. In Canada, it's not too bad. Everyone's open-minded. However, I grew up most of my um, high school life in Virginia. So was I'm part of Swansea. So ideally you want to come to either Cardiff, ignore Newport altogether, or Bristol. So you feel it's a little bit more open in Cardiff? Yes. Like... Um, Port Albert, Swansea are not too bad. Bridge End, Newport are kind of homophobic. And have you ever sort of felt that you've suffered any sort of discrimination or anything like that, or heard that friends of yours have? Um, not really. Every now and then, like, stupid websites like Formspring, they get people who just decide I'm bigger now and go on anonymously and make fun of them. But I think it's better than it used to be, and people, it's more like if you say something homophobic, you're the one who's getting the negative side of it instead of that. I still think the, the use of the word gay in that is a bit bad, though, because it's, it's just... I know, like, you use it every now and then and just become a slur now, and like, I say it every now and then, but when people say it, sometimes it's just like you think, oh, well, it's a bit weird to use that now. I've suffered um, some verbal discrimination, some hate crime during school years, but during my school years, that was normal bullying. I came out in year 10 in high school, and they, um, I got a lot of bullying for it, but um, I just ignore the people and it kind of was a good thing because um, people were talking to me on stuff like Emerson and stuff saying that uh, coming up to me so it's kind of inspired and let them know that they're not alone so it's a good thing to come out if you're comfortable with it. Do you think times are changing? Yeah definitely. Um, the um, the Mardi Gras keeps getting bigger every year and I think people keep have have better perceptions of sexuality and more acceptance and have more open minds. It is changing, yeah. it's getting better, yeah, which is a lot better. Than more, kids. The gay people are like free to do whatever they want without getting discriminated, so it's really good. Which is how it should be. Really yeah, it should be like that. I, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Leslie was shaking her head behind me. Um, no, I, I think I can definitely see the difference in attitude between generations. You know, Yeah. Everybody's human, really. Yeah. Everyone can dress differently, yeah. but we're all the same. Yeah. Again. 